Len had been dead a month when the phone rang. Midnight, cold in the house, and me dragged up from sleep to answer the call. Helen gone for the weekend, me alone in the house, and the phone ringing. Hello? Hello, Frank. Who's this? You know me. It's Len. Old Len Stiles. Cold, deep and intense. The receiver dead cold metal in my hand. Leonard Stiles died four weeks ago. Four weeks, three days, two hours and 27 minutes to be exact. I want to know who you are. Chuckle. That same dry chuckle I'd heard so many times. <laughs> Come on, old buddy, after 20 years. Hell, you know me. This is a damn poor joke. No joke, Frank. You're there alive, and I'm here dead. And you know something, old buddy? I'm really glad I did it. Did what? Killed myself. Because death is just what I hoped it would be. Beautiful, gray, quiet. No pressures. Len Stiles' death was an accident, a concrete freeway barrier. His ca I aimed my car for that barrier, pedaled to the floor, doing almost a hundred when I hit. No accident, Frank. I wanted to be dead, and no regrets. I tried to laugh and make light of this, matching his chuckle with my own. <laughs> dead men don't use telephones. Think of this phone as a medium, a line of force through which I can bridge the gap between us. <laughs> Hell, you got to admit it beats holding hands around a table in the dark. Yet the principle's the same. I still don't... Naturally, you're skeptical. I expected you to be, but listen carefully to me, Frank. And I listened the voice told me things that only Len could know. Intimate details of shared experiences extending back through two decades. And when he'd finished, I was certain of one thing. He was Len Stiles. All right, I, I, I don't believe in ghosts. Don't pretend to understand any of this, but I'll accept it. I must accept it. I'm glad, Frank, because it's important that we talk. I know how lousy things have been, old buddy. What do you mean? I just know how things are going for you, and I want to help. As your friend, I want you to know that I understand. Well, really, not you. have been feeling bad now, haven't you? Hmm? Kind of down, right? Yeah, a little, I guess. And I don't blame you. You got reasons. Lots of reasons. For one, there's your money problem. I'm expecting a raise. Cooney promised me one within the next few weeks. You won't get it, Frank. I know. He's lying to you. Cooney's planning to fire you. He never did like me. We never got along from the day I walked into his office. And your wife. All the arguments you've been having lately. It's a pattern, Frank. Your marriage is all over. Helen's going to ask for a divorce. She's in love with another man. Who, damn it? What's his name? You don't know him. Wouldn't change things if you did. There's nothing you can do about it now. Helen just doesn't love you anymore. These things happen to people. We've been drifting apart for the last year, but I didn't know why. I had no idea that she... And then there's Jan. She 
He's back on it, Frank. Only it's worse now. A lot worse. I knew what he meant. The coldness raked along my body. You see, Jan's 19, my oldest daughter, and she's been into drugs for the past three years, but she'd promised to quit. What do you know about Jan? Tell me. She's into the heavy stuff, Frank. She's hooked bad. It's too late for her. What the hell are you saying? I'm saying she's lost to you. She's rejected you, and there's no reaching her. She hates you, blames you for everything. Well, I won't accept that kind of blame. I, I did my best for her. It wasn't enough, Frank. We both know that. You'll never see Jan again. The blackness was welling within me, a, a choking wave through my body. Listen to me, old buddy. Things are going to get worse, not better. I know. I went through my own kind of hell when I was alive. Well, I'll start over. I'll leave the city. Go east. Work with my brother in New York. Your brother doesn't want you in his life. You'll be an intruder, an alien. He never writes you, does he? No, but that doesn't mean not even a card last Christmas. No letters or calls. He doesn't want you with him, Frank. Believe me. And then he began to tell me other things. He began to talk about middle age and how it was too late now to make any kind of new beginning. He spoke of disease, loneliness, rejection, and despair. And the blackness was complete. There's only one real solution to things, Frank. Just one. That gun you keep in your desk upstairs. Use it, Frank. Use the gun. Why not? What other choice have I got? The solution is there. Go upstairs and use the gun. I'll be waiting for you afterwards. You won't be alone. It'll be like the old days. We'll be together. Death is beautiful. Use the gun, Frank. The gun. Use the gun. The gun. The gun. I've been dead for a month now, and Len was right. It's fine here. No pressures. No worries. Gray and quiet and beautiful. I know how lousy things have been going for you. They won't get any better. Isn't that your phone ringing? You better answer it. Because it's important that we talk. Mm -hmm.